seasonal goal that, that I have for myself that was already accomplished for scoring my first goal. My journey to where I'm at now is very cool to me. I think not too many people see players, you know, be born in the same city as where they're playing at. So I think it's very unique, and I'm just so happy to be where I am right now. Well, I started playing when I was three, and I think, you know, I just, it was so long ago, so I can't really remember all of, like, how I felt about it. But I think I just had so much fun playing it, and that was the biggest thing and something that I take along with me throughout my whole journey is just having fun while playing. I had two tryouts for Atlanta United, ended up making both of those, um, and then I started playing for the U-12s in 2016. You know, I saw like lots of other of my friends trying out, and I knew it was like a huge, you know, it was gonna be a huge thing, and we were gonna be a huge club, so I knew it was a special moment. Well, my, my father, he, he played some soccer in high school, but he wasn't that into it. Um, but that didn't really stop him from just like pushing me. He, know, he knew that, you know, I, I really wanted this. So like he would, you know, we would go out to the field some days and he would just help me out, you know, really push me, which I think helped me. I didn't look up to too many players, but I did look up to my parents because of the qualities they had, um, such as um, being very supportive, um, being very kind, um, just being always there. Just all those little things that turned out to be very big things. I want to say that I was pretty nervous when we did come here. It was like, I was so surprised, like seeing this amazing building, playing on these great pitches is, you know, something that I'm not used to. Um, and then being treated like, you know, professionals almost is something that is, you know, an amazing feeling. The academy had a strong relationship with the children's athletic trainers. Me personally, I got along well with Greg. Even when I didn't have an injury, I would still go to him and talk to him and say what's up. And he was very supportive and he has really helped me get to where I am today. Children's oversees all of the medical care for Atlanta United's academy. As an athletic trainer with Children's, we will be here for every step of the way. So after we know what's going on, uh, we will take them from their initial injury all the way back to returning to play, whether that takes just a couple days or it's a little bit of taping or it's something more long-term that needs some rehab. And we do that all here in-house. Caleb Wiley is an awesome kid. When I first joined, he was 13, so he was playing with our U14s. He's definitely one of a kind. And before training, we'd have these moments where we were doing preventative strength stuff and Caleb always was asking questions of like, am I doing this right, am I doing this right? But he, even just the small details of something outside of soccer that he knew were beneficial for him, he was always asking questions and was, uh, was really cool to see. Definitely think the children's athletic trainers are, they feel a part of the team. And I, I really hope they do, because you know they do so much for us when we're injured. And even when we're not injured, like I said before, they're very supportive and you know, they keep us going. The message that I have for every young footballer out there is to enjoy every moment that you have with your team, teammates, coaches. Don't take anything for granted. Be patient with it. And know that it's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it in the long run.